It is time once again for the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. Welcome back. My name is Kerry Green, in case you've not been familiar with these Morning Mindsets before. I am a retired pastor, but I am now working in the entrepreneurial space, running a few companies and employing some people and doing some fun things in the world. But I still have a great heart, a great desire to see God's people, those who have committed their lives to Jesus Christ, to be vibrant in their faith. Not just a said faith, but an active faith. And so that's why I record these morning mindsets. They're to help you and to help me start out the day with a mind that is aligned with God's truth. And we've been talking in the past few episodes about the issue of wisdom, asking God for the wisdom that he promises he will give. You know, if God's going to promise something, I definitely want to take advantage of it. I, I want to avail myself of the resource the God of the universe is giving me. And wisdom is one of those powerful things he gives to his people. And we've been looking at Proverbs chapter 4 to kind of get our minds around the benefit it is to have wisdom in your life. And I'm looking at verse 11 here. And the writer, Solomon, says, I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. You see, he's, he's making this word picture of life being like a path and how it can wind back and forth here and there behind rocks, among trees, into dangerous places. But he says, I lead you through wisdom onto straight paths because I'm telling you wise things. That's the nature of a proverb. A proverb guides us into thinking wisely about things. Solomon goes on in verse 12, and he continues talking about life as a journey. He says, when you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. So he's saying wisdom enables us to navigate life well so that we're not tripped up. We're not falling over in our lives, figuratively speaking because we are guided by wisdom. We're able to assess circumstances and situations and make good choices in those. Solomon goes on in verse 13. He says, hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. What he's pointing out is our tendency to learn something for a moment or for a little while and then to let that learning kind of fade away over time. And the reason I believe it fades away is because we don't continue to practice it. We don't continue to put it into effect in our lives. And Solomon is saying, don't let that happen. Hold on to the wisdom that you learn. Do not let it go. Guard it well. Don't let the good times that come in life, the blessings, the, the times when you're doing well, cause you to slack off on your learning and application of wisdom. Because as Solomon says here in verse 13, it is your life. I want to pause for a moment and ask you to consider that. Do you think of wisdom as your very life? The wisdom that God gives, do you realize that the resource of wisdom that God provides is the very essence of what makes up your life. The decisions you make that flow out of wisdom or out of a lack of wisdom or foolishness, we might say, are what make up your life, aren't they? Your life will take on the flavor of the kinds of decisions you make. So remember today, you have God's wisdom available, so ask Him for it and expect that He is giving it to you. And when those decisions come up today, to respond, to react, to say things, don't let your first gut reaction be the one that rules you. Stop, think, let God's wisdom come online so that you can make decisions that set your right life on the right path. Let's talk again tomorrow on The Morning Mindset.